well 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 i'm sat here editing this video i'd like to just say that this is these are extremely old clips which i never got the chance to edit because i was busy and i had other stuff just wanted to show you the date please focus there we go 12 7 2023 and this is what was exact like uh this is what was directly taken out from my phone 12th july 2023 at one o'clock one uh, from 1 30 till 2. uh these are extremely old videos i'm getting to editing them right now so yes we are boycotting kfc uh, we should continue to go boycott P uh, kfc and yeah you can watch this video um just want to state that this is very very old hey guys what's up what's happening i hope you all are well today i'm back with another video on uh, eating with shahe another episode uh today we have um kfc so yeah i'm looking forward to this i'm also very hungry as well um but yeah without further ado let's get into the receipt over here you can see i got the crunch with fries and drink and the bonus strips however if we go over here you will be able to see clearly over here crunchy combo seven up i ordered seven up but you know what I got? I got Mirinda. So yeah, that's a very common occurrence with when you order from uh, Pakistani restaurants. They don't send you what you order. But as long as this is good, I could care less about the drink. But yeah, let's uh, without further ado, let's get into the package. All right, then. So as we open the package, you can see stuff has spilt everywhere, which is not good. Um, but yeah, let me take it out of this and put it onto the tray so that you can properly see everything right then first of all we have the fries which are non-existent because they all fell inside next we have um tissues with this dude on it and then we have our first burger sorry the first and only burger okay next we have uh, this box all right now we have the box and well just take a look at this Ah, that's not very good uh, our fries are literally everywhere and we have four of the same sources that's insane we could have done two tomato ketchup two uh other uh two the chili garlic but no four of the same sources anyways um let's get into the fries first because they're just everywhere let's see how these are bismillah man rahim okay then tasteless soggy um they have no salt on them I'm rating the fries uh, 1 out of 10. Alright then, so we start off with the disappointment, of course, with the fries. But anyways, we're going to leave the burger to last. And I have one thing I just want to say. My order was the second one out of um, the delivery riders. Like, he had another order before me. He delivered that. Then he came and delivered mine. Which means that my food is very cold. Oh my days. Talk about wasting paper, bro. You could have not, like... This whole box has now been wasted just because of these three. Anyways, so these are supposed to be boneless. And these are tender strips. So let's give this a shot. Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim I like the crunchy. You know what? It is juicy. It's not warm. It's a bit less than warm in temperature. It's juicy. It's crunchy. It's honestly really, really nice. It's a bit spicy. I really like this, bro. Subhanallah. I'll rate this 7 out of 10. Because of the temperature, you've lost points. All right, then, guys, I enjoyed my uh, tender strips, and now we are on to the burger. Let's move this guy over here. And I see this um, over here, this sauce, which is a good sign, you know. But I actually want to share something with you guys. So basically, this is what I ordered, and you can see the burger looks delicious, subhanallah. And over here, look in the bracket. It says, please note we are facing a shortage of spicy mayo sauce. Hence, you might receive the burger without the sauce. Come on, man. You shouldn't be sending it without the sauce if you're facing a shortage. You should just make up an alternative. Like, buy some spicy fajita sauce from uh, any department store and put that in there. I mean, I'm sure they're not allowed to do that. But you need to combat somehow. You can't just leave the burger all dry. Because without this sauce, it gets all dry. But anyways, I'm glad that there is sauce in here. And maybe that, uh, the text in the brackets is old, like from Corona times. And they haven't been able to change it. And so who knows. But anyways, I'm just glad that it reached here with the sauce. And anyways, let's do undo the KFC wrapping. There we go. 
And look at this, we have our burger. Hmm. Oh wow, well it looks nothing like the pictures. It's all big from this side and all small from this side. Uh, it's not very well, uh, you know, decorated like we saw in the um, picture. And can I get this off? Yep, there we are. There is the burger. I would appreciate some more salad on here, to be honest. Uh, but I guess you need to pay extra for that. I'm not sure, actually. Mmm. I put that piece of lettuce in my mouth and wow, it's very fresh, subhanAllah, that's good. And now, let's give this a taste. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. I'm going to put this underneath so it doesn't fall. And here we go, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alright then guys, so I've had basically half the burger and I have to say, it is so delicious, man. SubhanAllah. The chicken, the only reason why the chicken has any taste is because of the sauce. And the sauce is out of the park. It's so amazing, SubhanAllah. With McDonald's, your chicken also has flavor. This chicken doesn't really have that much flavor, to be honest. And it doesn't have any crisp at all. But the spice, the the sauce, it, you know, combats that. It combats the weak point and it uh, uh, gets the burger up there. So I'm going to rate this a 6 out of 10. So yeah, guys, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace be upon you all. Allah Hafiz.